This week on the Spotlight, Derek Rose turns Jeremy Lin into Jeremy Lint and more. Joe Kim Noah sounds off about his teammates. That's good stuff. We go to Kelly's at 44th and Wallace. They play some top quality trivia. And another excerpt from our 2011 championship match. We're near the end. Check out my website, Benkowski.com, for my weekly article and up-to-the-minute trivia site. From wherever Chicago sports teams are making news, this is the 23rd year of the Lansing Floral Sports Spotlight. Flowers for every imaginable occasion at Lansing Floral Shop. Call them at 708-474-1212. They deliver. You've got to get to the dirty sock for Benkowski trivia. You go to 93rd and Roberts Road, you eat, drink, and play. Thursday, March 15th at 7.30 p.m., and then Wednesday, March 21st at 7.30 p.m., we alternate days at the Dirty Sock on Roberts Road. Want to get a haircut from a great hairstylist? Call mine, Rose Marillo, 312-726-2201. With a 30-year Southwest Side tradition, Huckfin is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one-third pound burgers, clubs, and much more. Dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta. Great donuts and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero. Stop in today. You know Huck Finn is open. Be safe with Sureway Insurance Company, 3312 North Milwaukee. Call my friend Jean at 773 282 2022. She has the answers on your auto, home, business, life coverage, including SR22 coverage drivers. Call Sherway Insurance. Hi, my name is Rose, and I've been a skilled hairstylist for over 10 years. I specialize in men's haircuts and in corrective color. Um, come visit me at Salon 203 at 203 North LaSalle, 312-726-2201. And while you're at it, come in and get a shoe shine and a shave. It's a great place where a man can be a man. Since 1967, El Jardin has been serving the finest Mexican food. Before, after, or during ball games, located conveniently just three blocks south of Wrigley Field, 3335 North Clark. Whether there's a game or not, you still get hungry, and El Jardin has great service, great food, and great drinks. I've enjoyed every meal I've had there, and you will too. So get to El Jardin for great Mexican food at 3335 North Clark Street in Chicago, You'll be glad you did. We're back on the spotlight. It's time to talk Bulls. Why not talk with Derek Rose? There was a game that Danny and I were at recently. It involved the New York Knicks, the highly hyped Knicks. A lot of hype for a team under 500. Jeremy Lin's been pretty good. Carmelo Anthony's good. But Derek Rose hasn't been getting the fouls called. He has the unusual problem of finishing and scoring even after getting whacked. And then they kind of skipped the foul call. And he made an emphatic dunk, a real monster thunderbolt of a dunk, midway through the fourth quarter and screen. And apparently what he meant to say was, start calling these fouls. And he elaborates a little bit on that in this press session. A per pretty unique one. Uh, the first time I ever heard Derrick Rose refer to himself as a superstar, I think. Um, you'll enjoy this. Midway through the fourth quarter, uh, it, I would call it a statement dunk, a tomahawk dunk, but you kind of had extra ferociousness on your face when that one went down. Can you describe your feeling and, and what you meant by that? I really kind of like blocked out right there. Where, um, I'll probably have to see it to go through it again um, to tell you how, how I felt. Um, I probably was mad because they weren't calling no calls the whole game. So that's part of the reason why. Derek, can you talk about what Taj did on the boards tonight? Huge. Not only him, but Joe. Um, Jimmy came in huge play, huge for us. But Taj, once, once again, is he's playing good, man. He's in the rhythm with um, getting all the offensive re um, rebounds, chasing them down, getting us to getting to the point guard. And we're getting extra um, possessions right now. Derek, it looked like it started early as far as the Angels goes with the officials. It seemed to be you, but it started early, didn't it? Oh yeah, <laughs> I gotta be the only superstar in the league that's going through what I'm going through right now. But 
Can't say too much about it. I mean, how it would it mean to win a game like this with all the hype, with all the media attention that was? We wasn't really focused about it. Almost every game with us is a big game, so we're used to it. Even though it's the Knicks, we knew that they're going to come out, that they were going to come out and play hard. They're a good team. They've been in um, a slump a little bit, but still an NBA team. You can still um, lose to a team in the NBA. Derek, what, what, what bothered you most about the refereeing? Is it the inconsistency of your calls, or I mean, they were calling a different game on the other side? What, what bothered you most? I don't know. You could, how many times I shoot today? 29. And I'm the point guard. So. You had nine free throws. Exactly. <laughs> Derek, you don't usually show that kind of emotion, though, on the court. Uh, obviously, you were frustrated. How do you get past that, though, when you're on the bench? Keep going hard and um, try to make it call. Where I kept driving, um, just trying to put pressure on them. And um, if anything, tonight I was just worried about my turnovers, careless turnovers. I don't know what that was about, but um, a rare game. And, just try to get this game, um, put this game in the back up. Even with people off. missing from the lineup, your your bench once again outscored their bench, and that was a, that was a key element. We have confidence in each other, from starters all the way to the bench, from the coaches all the way to general manager, front office. We know that uh, we have a special team, and we just got to put forth the effort. Derek, Derek, because you're talking about the referees, do you think they did fine? Uh, I could care less right now. Derek, you're always even keel on the court, but periodically when you do get mad, can that possibly raise your level of your game out there a little bit? Uh, I'm going to continue to play the way I know how to play. I came in this league, league a driver. Nothing didn't change. Um, continue to play hard and um, just try to win. Derek, were you hyped to face Jeremy Lin? Um, definitely. Who's not? <laughs> Who's not right now? Um, he's a good player. He's playing well for his team. Um, just... Um, Controlling the game, getting people open, pick and roll is good. It's a good player. It looks like you came out with quite a bit of aggression in that first quarter. Were you trying to make a statement or try to maybe deflate his confidence a little bit to start? Um, that's the way I play. I play with a lot of confidence in myself. Um, when I'm out there, um, it's me against him, uh, where no matter who I'm playing against, I'm trying to win the matchup. Derek, this game was hyped, but probably nothing compared to what Wednesday night's going to be. Is that just another game on the schedule, or is it a big game? Wednesday? It's big because it's our next game. Um, that's the way that we look at it, where we know they're going to be charged. They're coming in here. They beat this last time. They're a good team, um, playing good right now, good players, good coaching staff, and um, it's going to be a battle. So he got fined $25,000, but he probably feels better. Since 1955, Los Angeles Pizza has been there for you at 95th in California, across from Little Company Mary Hospital. You can call them at 708-422-2041. Everything homemade, including the sauce, great beef and meatball sandwiches, pasta, chicken, seafood, desserts, dine in for lunch and dinner, Los Angeles, 95th in California. It's always the season for Riley's Trick Shop at 6442 West 111th in Worth, or you can call them at 708-448-0075. Right now they have football strip cards, a wide selection of Halloween costumes and tricks and treats. And then for later in the year, Santa suits. So for all your needs, especially Halloween, Riley's Trick Shop on 111th Street. Nuevo Leon for the best Mexican cuisine since 1962. Serving every day from 7 a.m. to midnight. Conveniently located 1515 West 18th Street, just a block east of Ashland in Chicago. Of course they have breakfast, lunch, and dinner and a wide range of menu items. Everything from steak, seafood, to breakfast, to chicken, pork, dine-in, carry-out, tacos, enchiladas, everything you can imagine, and great quality at Nuevo Leon, 1515 West 18. Bring your car to Quick Stop Muffler and Brake at 95th and Pulaski, and they'll fix it right. They also do shocks and struts, free estimates. Call them at 708-423-3700. They're very thorough in their work, and they have very competitive pricing. Quick Stop Muffler and Break, 95th and Pulaski. We're back in the spotlight talking Bulls. And someone we haven't caught up with in the 2012 campaign, Joe Kim Noah. He had kind of a slow start to the season. I don't know if that's why he didn't want to talk. But he's right at himself. And he's certainly in the flow of the offense, maybe more so in that Nick game than I've seen in a while. In that not only was he getting some garbage baskets, 
and doing a fine job on the offensive glass, but getting the kickout plays and uh, in, in hitting open jumpers. Might be a little sensitive about that, which might be relating to uh, his tentative answer when I asked that. But uh, here's our piece with Joe Kim Noah, and an interesting talk too about uh, his affiliation with New York. You had a lot of unique situations on offense, and they were finding you too. Not only was it all uh, offensive boards, but they were finding you as the open man. Uh, yeah, they found me on an open man, and I got some easy finishes and, and transition and stuff like that. Uh, how would how happy are you with uh, with the way you played offensively today? I think I, I did all right. I think I could have done better, but I'm happy we won the game. I'm a little tired right now, but uh, we'll just get some rest tonight and uh, have a good practice tomorrow and get ready for for the big one on Wednesday. Can you remember a time when your team had 22 offensive rebounds in a single game? I mean, I really could. I can't tell you. I, I don't. Really it's decide. an odd number. It's big. Yeah, it was good. I think uh, Taj was a beast on the glass today. You know, he, he really set the tone with his offensive rebound and got the, got the energy going a little bit. And, uh, yeah, we did, we did well. Um, in the New York angle, I mean, you know, with your, uh, how should I say, uh, relationship with New York, do you, do you find yourself getting a little extra jacked up when you play in New York? Hell yeah. That's home. You know, I grew up maybe, you know, I grew up on 51st and, and 10th Avenue in Hell's Kitchen. So I could walk to the garden from where I live. So, you know, I remember being a kid and going to, to the garden all the time. You know, I, I, I was in the garden when, when LJ hit the four-point play. I was in the garden when, when Jordan was wearing number 40, uh, 45 and <laughs> killed us, had 55 on us. So I was in the garden for a lot of games as a little young boy. Uh, in terms of how your teams come together uh, with young players uh, playing more and more key roles due to injury and such, uh, well, w are you surprised at how, how fast they have uh, they found the, the, the right ways to play? No, I think um, overall I think you know, we're a confident group and we know that um, you know, we can still play better. You know, we're not playing our best basketball, and uh, we just need to keep improving to get to where we want to get to. And everybody has the same um, mindset, and that's t to win it all. And uh, it's going to be a big one on Wednesday. We're excited about it, and uh, you know, it's good to play against the best teams. Derek struggled a little bit in the first half, but um, Ronnie stepped up. Um, what do you think about how Ronnie? Yeah, Derek struggled so much, he, he had 35 points. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie has a big game, too. Yeah, Ronnie, Ronnie, uh, Ronnie's been huge for us, you know. He's kind of a do-it-all kind of guy. You know, play defense, good passer, hit some big shots, you know, loose balls. And he's, he's, doing, he's doing a lot of things for us. So uh, when Ronnie's playing at a high level, our, our team, it's like a whole team changes. Derek uh, was very outspoken today about not getting calls, about getting hit on the way to the hoop, and, and more so than I've ever seen him. Uh, any thoughts about his level of frustration with uh, taking the ball to the rack a lot and not, not getting the foul calls? No. Just keep going. Just keep going, Derek. Just keep going. We need him to keep going, so, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully he'll get some, I don't know, I, I don't know. Hopefully he gets more calls, I don't know. <laughs> Cautious and smart. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, man. With a 30 year Southwest Side tradition, Huckfin is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one third pound burgers, clubs, and much more. Dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta, great donuts, and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero. Stop in today. You know Huck Finn is open. You've got to get to Lansing Floral Shop. Open at 8 a.m. daily. Besides a great array of live flowers, they have custom silks, Bridgewater candles. They want you to plan your parties early at a wide delivery area. They're located at 3420 Ridge Road in Lansing, or you can call 708-474-1212. 
weddings, funerals, birthdays, anniversaries, and guys, try the No Reason Flower. Believe me, it works. Lansing Floral Shop. Give them a call, 708-474-1212. You've got to get to Kelly's Tavern for Benkowski Trivia. They're at 44th and Wallace, not too far from Sox Park. Friday, March 16th, I'll be there at 8 p.m. doing a game show. And the following Friday, March 23rd, also. Come out and play. Bring some friends. It's a fun time. Do our trivia game at Kelly's, 44th and Wallace, right over there by Sox Park. I think we're running out of time, so just do it. <laughs> Come play in the area's classiest billiard center, Duke Box Billiards, 7910 Calumet Avenue in Munster. Two blocks south of 8094, selling the most famous names of pool tables and billiard equipment, specializing in table recovery and moving of tables, a complete pro shop with the most brand names of cues and cases, celebrating over 20 years, excellence, top billiard tables, the place where the action is, Jukebox Billiards, 7910 Calumet in Munster. We're back on the spotlight. It's the 2011 Benkowski title match from Salerno's. In mid-answer, working on the 3,000 hit club, is the team, the Dirty Sock. Three players who played part of their career in Milwaukee are in the 3,000 hit club. Name two of the three. You said Paul Molitor? Yes. And? Robin Young. Robin Young is correct. Hey, Karen was the other. So you have 500. You're going for 1,500. As you know, I do these shows, uh, television shows and many radio shows. On my television show, this Hall of Fame player told me he got his first of his 3,000 hits at Old Comiskey Park in the 70s. Who told me that? George Brett is right. Big time play. Question number one. Within 20, on the average Big Mac, how many sesame seeds? Five seconds. Three ninety is what they said. Too much. The answer is one eighty. So one down, but you still can get fifteen hundred. When you go to the store and you buy, okay, let's okay, let's not kill each other. Put the nines down. Okay, when you go buy bread, the twist ties have colors. What do they mean? Five seconds. Shelf life. Shelf life is correct. Oh my God! That's right. Five hundred. You got it. You're going for fifteen hundred. According to the Wall Street Journal, at the end of 2010, Subway past McDonald's with the most franchises in the world. Within 5,000, how many franchises does Subway have? Five seconds, within 5,000. So we could go. Going. Hurry up, hurry up, man. Going. Answer. 14,000. 14,000, I heard. The answer was 33,749. So you get 500 points. Team Salerno improves to 1580. An excellent score. Maybe that was in America. Maybe that was 
One, two, three, four, five, six teams in the books. Three teams to go. Three teams trying to chase down the dirty sack. Here we go. Playing the 3,000 hit club A. Six answers needed. Let's hear it for the Chicago Sharks. Question number one. The Cleveland franchise in the American League had three guys who played on it in the 3,000 hit club. Name two. Five seconds. Chris Speaker. Yes. Chris Speaker and Eddie Murray is correct. Question number two. The Pittsburgh Pirates have had three players in there. Name two. Roberto Clemente. Yes. Paul Wiener. Paul Wiener is correct. Bonus Wagner was the other. You're at fifteen hundred. You're going for three thousand. Besides Paul Molitor, two twins, two people who played for the twins, are in that 3,000 club. Name them. Rod Carew. Rod Carew. Five seconds. Dave Winfield is correct. We've taken the lead in the game, and we'll be back next week with the finale. I eat on the pasta twice. Just Salerno's Restaurant and Pizzeria at Grand and Racine is the place to go before United Center Pavilion, Bulls, Hawks, Cubs, and Sox, too. Dine in or carry out with great family recipes, including homemade pastas, steaks, seafood, a great fun bar area. Meet people. Have a tremendous time at Salerno's Restaurant and Pizzeria Grand and Racine. You'll find a great variety of foods for you to enjoy at Salerno's. Go play at Red Shoes Billiards, 12009 South Pulaski in Alsip, featuring 16 Brunswick Gold Crown pool tables, drop fluorescent lighting fixtures, and the fabulous grade of cloth. Call 708-388-3700. That's Red Shoe Billiards, 12009 South Pulaski. Lanigan's Irish Pub is the place to be at 3119 West and 111th Street, right by Kedzie. Live music on Sunday with Fast Eddie. Drink specials daily, including a buck fifty domestic bottles on Thursday, three dollar Guinness on Tuesday. Call for karaoke information on Friday. Party room two. All that available at Lanigan's Irish Pub, 3119 West 111th Street on the beautiful south side of Chicago. Get there, Lanigan's Irish Pub. Lindy's Chili Gertie's Ice Cream at 110th and Kedzie has it all. From fresh made burgers, fries, hot dogs, chicken, turkey, Polish, shrimp, tuna, barbecue, ham, tamales, quesadillas. They've got salads and plenty of ice cream with Sunday's banana splits and seasonal favorites. Get all these things at Lindy's Chili, which is where I start, but I always get a little something extra, at 110th and Kedzie. We're back in the spotlight at 44th and Wallace. It's Kelly's. Benkowski Trivia is there now, as the graphic indicates. And here we go with questions. In 19 years of Major League play, within 150, how many times did Frank Thomas walk? Disadvantage going first on this question. Listen carefully to their answer. Going. Throw the ball. It's a 90-point play, and I'll get the ball. Here you go. Oh. 
What? We go to anti AA. 2000 music. In 2008, there was a song called Low that was number one for 10 weeks, and two artists were featured T Pain and this other artist. Five seconds. Going? Little John is not it. We go to the Sodomites. Remember, any phone use results in ejection from the game. Sodomites, what do you think? Five seconds. Throw the ball. So it'll be the Sodomites' second and final throw of the night. Here we go. Put the ball back there. You got it. <laughs> Didn't have to say flow rider. And so that hundred brings the sodomites to two sixty, very close to the lead. Jag bags are up. He won Best Supporting Actor at age 82. Christopher Plummer is correct. And you go to 240. And we go to Spread Eagles. Music. In 2006, in the spring, she was number one for three weeks with SOS. Name her. Rihanna's right. It's a 120. And you improve your leading score, and you're at 410. All right, and Shell and Mo. It's 2000s now. But you can play Academy or Grace if you want. Or you can play 2000s. Academy. You're in the way, Allison. This man, better known as a director and comedic actor, won Best Original, S Original Screenplay for Midnight in Paris. Five seconds. All right. It's a 120 value, and it's your final throw of the night. And the correct answer, Woody Allen. Thanks for watching. See you next week. This week's show has been brought to you by the Lansing Floral Shop. Call for your flowers at 708-474-1212. Huck Finn, a great wide-ranging menu, along with donuts and ice cream. Open 24 hours at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero. Imprint Graphics, leaders in booklet, perfect bound saddle stitch. Very competitive pricing, 708-396-1010.